Moving on, the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria Extern has kicked against the federal government move to take over the management of unclaimed dividends of public listed companies. The group noted that the move would impact negatively on the capital market and also discourage investors. President and Chairman Ixen Bode Ayeku, who made their remarks, urged the government to respect the right of shareholders as stated in the Nigerian Code of Corporate Governance, NCCG 2018. Correspondent Abiola Ismail was at the Institute 44th Annual Conference in Lagos and completed the report. It was a convergence of stakeholders on Lagos for the 44th Annual Conference of the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, Axon where issues concerning entrenchment of good corporate governance at both the public and private sector were examined. Expressing concern on the Finance Bill 2021, the Exxon President Bode Ayeku noted that Section 39 of the bill, which stated that all unclaimed dividends of more than 12 years shall lapse into government revenue and shall be transferred from the trust fund to the federation account as Federation Revenue was an infringement of the constitutional right to properties of the stakeholders. Why is the government trying to take over this dividend? Taking over the dividend in the sense that, and they are now saying that the dividend will now become the revenue of the government. That is against the provision of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Section 44 says that every individual has a right to property. Dividend is the property of the shareholder. So it is wrong for the government now to expropriate the property of individual. What the government should do is to assist individual to get what belongs to them. Government should be giving palliative to people and not people now giving palliative to government, which is the intention of Section 39 of the bill. And that is why we are opposed to it. We are saying that government should focus on how to reduce unclaimed dividend and not how to expropriate unclaimed dividend. Speaking on the team, entrenching the right governance framework for economic development and sustainability, the guest speaker on Latunji Ope, who mentioned that Nigeria is not yet configured for economic development, said that the country needed quality leadership which is built on competency, capacity, and character. Until we begin to action those thoughts into engaging with each other, into speaking with each other, into resuscitating those cultural values that we were raised with, that those, those cultural values that we share, in, that we have in common, things will stay the way they are. And we need to be, it's something that we need to start right now. On his part, the Chairman Organizing Committee and the Vice President of the Institute, Taiwo Owolakade, said the body of governance professionals has put in place a monitoring mechanism that we continuously assess the level of compliance on the recommendations of stakeholders at the conference. We all know that our environment is a, is a growing environment and corporate governance is still at a very infancy stage. And that's what an institute like us try to like bring this issue to the fore. Because for the system to work well, we need to ensure that the structures, the corporate governance structures are, are embedded in the system, that once people get to know it, they embed it in the, in the running of the system and then they try to implement it towards generating um, positive progresses for the for the system. Three peoples were presented at this year's conference. They are the new normal emerging trend in corporate governance and its implications on business continuity, digitalization and cyber security, impact on business and the revised companies and allied matters act Kama 2020 opportunities for companies secretaries. Just as you have access to online uh, facility uh, criminals to have access to some of these things and that uh, puts you at risk just as uh, you enjoy the advantages of digitization so what we're going to be looking at today is to uh, analyze how all of these things uh, now cohabit in the same space and why we need to be on our guard to minimize uh, the risk of uh, vulnerability. The high point of the 44th Anna Conference of ASCAM was the presentation of Honorary Fellowship Award on two distinguished Nigerians of former Nigerian envoys to United Kingdom, Christopher Kolade 
are the chief executive officer of Nigerian Stock Exchange, Oscar Oyema. There were presentations of various categories of awards and induction of distinguished values. Abiola Ismail, MITV News.